Well, I, I should start by apologising for the late start. My watch says o'clock. That must be wrong. Um, and I'd like to thank you all for coming. Delighted I've got an audience. I thought that was unlikely about 20 minutes ago. I'd like to start, I'm lecturing, you can see on the screen, on privacy, which I believe is a top issue today. And I'd like to start by asking you a couple of questions. And the first one is, how many of you worry that your privacy is being reduced? Yeah, I see nod, nod to the head. Okay, and second question, and you might have anticipated that, is how many of you get rid of spade loads of personal data on Facebook? You're meant to say. <laughs> Me. <laughs> um, it, certainly if it was a, a young people's audience, we would have hands shooting up there. And I would then say that that is the privacy paradox, that people say they're concerned about the loss of privacy, but then actually in conduct seem to be giving away their privacy. And that is known in the literature as the privacy paradox. And I want in this lecture to actually solve the privacy paradox. Uh, and maybe do some other things as well. It is nearly 200 years since Jeremy Bentham, the philosopher, came out with what you might say was a mad plan for what he called the panopticon, which was, of course, that's Greek for all-seeing. And he came out with a plan for, these are his early doodles, and there's a, an architect's drawing, for a perfect prison where the Prisoners would be in uh, cells around the circumference, which would be lit up 24-7, and the wardens were shrouded in mystery in a central inspection tower, or an inspection lodge, as Bentham called it. An idea that wasn't put into practice in London, as he hoped, but it was put into practice in other places around the world, and this is nicked off Wikipedia, I might add. <laughs> a, Cuban prison, thankfully, since demolished. It's almost 70 years, too, since George Orwell wrote 1984, or published it, and he gave us the spectre of Big Brother lording it over us from the Ministry of Truth. You probably knew that. Did you also know that it's nearly 10 years since the English Information Commissioner, Richard Thomas, warned Britain that we were sleepwalking into a surveillance society. And I'd like to put it to you today that we still haven't woken up. The issue of privacy has become unavoidable because of information technology. And the way to frame our thinking and advocacy around privacy is to realize that we are part of the information 